Confidence intervals allow us to provide a range of likely values for a population parameter of interest. In this video, I'm going to show you how to construct confidence intervals for a single population mean if you have summary statistics or, alternatively, if you have the raw data. Both procedures that I'm going to be showing you are based off of the information within the dataset LA County Ozone Random from the RGuru User Guide Repository. If you would like assistance loading this dataset, please reference our video importing a data set from a repository. The data set LA County Ozone Random is a random sample of average daily ozone levels taken from 48 days in September and 26 days in February between the years 2000 and 2016. Let's focus our attention on the variable September. This variable has a sample mean of 0.04919 and a sample standard deviation of 0.00872. Let's use these summary statistics to create a confidence interval for the mean daily ozone levels in September. From the Analytics pane, hit the Analysis dropdown, scroll down to Mean Inference, and then click on One Population. Using summary statistics is easy. Within the Data section, we are simply going to input the sample mean our sample standard deviation, and then our sample size. Prior to performing this type of confidence interval, we are required to type in the variable label. This is located in the text box below the data section. I think September ozone should do. Now below our label text box, there are two subtabs, one for a confidence interval and the other for test of hypothesis. Since we are constructing a confidence interval, we're in the correct subtab. Our guru can compute confidence intervals using the normal and t distributions, along with two bootstrap methods. However, when using summary statistics to generate confidence intervals, we can only use distribution based methods. Bootstrap methods can only be used when a data set is selected. And lastly, we have the ability to set the desired confidence level. The default is set to 95%. I'm going to leave this as is. We are now ready to click the preview icon and see our results. All confidence interval reports begin with the data summary table for the variable of interest. And below that, you'll see that our 95% confidence interval bounds are between 0.0467 and 0.0517. Easy, right? Now these same results can also be generated from the raw LA County Ozone Random dataset that I showed you in the beginning of this video. Let's start a new Analytics tab by scrolling back to the Analytics pane and opening another One Population Mean Inference. This time we're going to select the LA County Ozone Random dataset and in the Variable dropdown, click on September. Once your variable is selected, our guru will automatically fill in the summary data and the variable label in the section below. You can still customize your variable if you'd like to do so. This time, I'm going to select all confidence interval methods and include a histogram of the bootstrap results since I'm using the raw data. The raw data also gives us the option to click on the checkboxes for the normal probability plot and the test of normality. I'm going to leave these boxes unchecked since I already know the September variable is distributed normally. But for unfamiliar data sets, these can be very useful tools. Let's hit the preview icon again and see our results. As you can see, this method yields the same conclusions we got earlier from the distribution-based methods. However, we now get an added table displaying our bootstrap results. The green text in the bootstrap-based confidence intervals tells us our sample mean, our standard error estimate based on the bootstrap samples, and the number of bootstrap replicates used. So in this analysis, we are 95% confident that the mean ozone levels in September range from 0.0467 to 0.0516. At the very bottom, you'll see that the histogram of the bootstrap replicates has two pairs of vertical lines on the graph. One set marks the ordinary bootstrap 95% confidence limits, and the other set marks the bias corrected and accelerated bootstrap confidence limits donated by BCA. 
we can also see the location of the observed sample mean donated by the green triangle. A couple of final notes. The first is that our bootstrap results depend on two features, a seed value and the number of replications to be generated. The default seed in rguru is 100, and the number of replications is 10,000. You can change these values by using the dialog boxes located in the Details menu. Secondly, if there were any missing observations in the variable of interest, rguru removes these NA values and the analysis is carried on based on the cases that were observed. If you would like further information and details about constructing confidence intervals for a single population mean and the various methods to do so, we encourage you to reference the chapter Inference for a Population Mean from our user guidebook.